Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch and today we have got Jaquil Marshall Rutty, the Canadian winger. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more great Wonder Kid Watch and leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in the next episodes. But today, like I mentioned, we've got Jaquil Marshall Rutty, um, currently actually a free agent, was at Toronto FC, played a game for them but has been since released, played five under 20 caps games for Canada uh, and scored a goal one goal for them as well 17 years old so nice and young um, which is a weird thing to say but he, for the game um, he's got a lot of longevity um, Sunsville and DC United both wanting him on a free which is interesting to see um, so it'd be interesting to see how he where he goes does he stay in North America or does he move to Europe um, let's take a look at his attributes so he's 75 current ability and 138 potential so he's got a bit of room for growth he won't be a world beater or anything like that but if he's a free agent at the start of the game it's definitely worth taking a look at picking him up if you can um, so let's jump 10 years on and see how he does and here we are Jaquil Marshall Rutty 26 years old now so in his prime and it looks quite disappointing um his career hasn't quite taken off as we'd hoped a uh, wage of 450 pounds on the lower end has made six appearances for Canada scoring a goal in that time so that's quite nice to see um playing on the right hand side is his preferable position as a winger um that's for sure but he's had a bit of a strange journey so let's take a look at that now um history wise he was obviously released by Toronto Went to Sigma FC, which is interesting, considering the two teams that he could have played for. Um, played very, very well for them. Then moved to Cavalry FC in the Canadian Premier League. Uh, looked to really get some form in there. Um, some fantastic performances. Um, even in his last one, 2027, was absolutely amazing. 10 player of the matches, 7 assists. Didn't get any goals, but looks like he was very influential for them. Uh, that led to a uh, transfer to Vancouver in the MLS, where he... Did okay, nothing spectacular, but he, he was on the verge of a 7 rating. Uh, then moved back to Toronto FC, where he didn't make a single appearance in the 2029 season, which led to a free transfer back to Canada, um, in, or back to the Canadian Premier League, I should say, uh, with Atletico Ottawa, um, where he's absolutely been... For on fire for them um he's been absolutely fantastic so i mean if you're a canadian premier league team sign him up because what a player um <laughs> looking at him he's not too bad he's got a few years to go as well let's take a look at competitions so he made his first cap against puerto rico and scored on his debut as well that's quite cool at the age of 21 so not too bad um they were canadian premier league champions with cavalry um in one season uh, and then was also in the in, not long ago um, as well with Atletico Ottawa. So he's kind of a, he can push teams onto that. Um, Supporters Player of the Year, Atletico season best eleven, twenty thirty Canadian Premier League Player of the Year. So he was very very good for Atletico Ottawa, um, which isn't bad at all. He was in the team of the week uh, and Vancouver seasonal best eleven, of course. Um, but nothing too much. A few Supporters Player of the Years as well. So he's obviously very very much liked by the fans but other than that nothing to really note let's take a look at his attributes though and how his um general result has occurred potential ability 138 he has been nowhere near it at 78 he's barely grown at all um which is disappointing i, I think if he moved to europe it might have been different so that maybe shows us how it's gone um we if you're interested, I might maybe pop him over to a European club, maybe in the UK or something, just to see if his um, him playing in a higher quality academy might allow him to develop more. But um, yeah, it's a shame, really. He could have been something a bit better than he is. Um, but at 26 years old, there's probably the limit of where he's going to go. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And of course, let me know who you want to see next in Wonder Kid Watch, but I'll see you in the next one.